the Winnipeg Jets haven't done much over the past few seasons for a team trying to contend. It's easy to forget, then, that the Jets were one of the closest Canadian teams to winning a Stanley Cup in recent memory, entering as favorites to win Round 3 against Vegas in 2018. In the five years since, the core makeup of the team has completely changed. Core players like Dustin Bufflin, Matthew Perrault, and Toby Enstrom have aged out of their primes and moved on, and the team has struggled to adjust to their many departures. 2023's team may finally be Winnipeg's chance to get back to where they want to be, as the team is again in the playoff race, only this time, it's their spot to lose. Winnipeg's big offseason move wasn't a big signing or a huge trade, it was a coaching change. Following Paul Maurice's resignation from the head coaching role in 2021, the Jets spent most of last season with Dave Lowry as interim head coach. Rumors of Barry Trotz circulated throughout much of the offseason, but on July 3rd, 2022, the Jets officially announced the return of the man who had coached them 34 years ago, Rick Bonus. Bonus became only the third permanent head coach of the Jets since their return to the NHL, and despite initially mixed reactions, he certainly put his mark on the Jets this year. Bonus is known as a defensive-minded coach. Defense is not often something fans get excited about, as a high-octane offense is always going to be more fun to watch. Fortunately for coaches, fans aren't going to care if the team is winning. The Jets are not the best team in the league, and not the best team in the West, but they are one of the best in the league at preventing goals. To this point, the Jets have allowed only 97 goals, good for joint second best in the NHL. Bonus's system may be a part of that, but much of it also falls on the Jets' most important player. Connor Hellebuck hasn't always been the Jets' best player, but he's consistently been their most important. Hellebuck has long been recognized as a top three NHL goalie and was recognized as the very best in 2019-20 when he won his first Vesna Trophy. He'll be in contention for the award again this year, as he has some of the league's best numbers. Hellebuck is top 5 in goals against average, top 5 in save percentage, joint top in shutouts, and has the third most goals saved above expected. Connor Hellebuck is the type of goalie that can steal a playoff series, and should the Jets make the playoffs, the team will live and die by Hellebuck's performances. In front of Hellebuck for over 23 minutes a night is the biggest surprise on the Jets this season. After playing most of his career as a serviceable top 4 defender, Josh Morrissey has transformed himself this season into a legitimate Norris Trophy candidate. Morrissey is second only to Eric Carlson in points by defenseman, currently holding 7 goals and 36 assists in 38 games. It isn't just his offense that has been so impressive. Morrissey has had some of the worst defensive analytics in the NHL over the past few years, but he's made the improvement to become a solid defender. Therefore, allowing him to be incredibly dependable in all situations. In order for the Jets to be successful this year, Morrissey will need to continue to drive offense from the back end, while also limiting quality chances. Josh Morrissey isn't the only player on the Jets to see a huge scoring increase in 2022-23. Mark Shifley is no stranger to putting up big numbers, as he's averaged a point per game or more over each of his previous six seasons. What is unique for him is the goal-scoring form that he's been on. To this point, Mark Shifley has scored 23 goals in 38 games, a pace at which he would score 50 goals over an 82-game season. Shifley has only broken the 30-goal mark twice, and at a career high of 38 in 1819, it's fair to say that this level of offensive output was unexpected from Shifley. Shifley and Morrissey are two big overachievers on the team but they're still backed by a host of elite talent. Kyle Connor is coming off of his best career year, and while he's not been scoring at his previous 47-goal pace, he's still arguably the Jets' best offensive player. Connor has 16 goals and 28 assists through his first 38 games. Connor is on pace to finish the year with around 35 goals, but could also be due for some positive regression. Connor has a career shooting percentage of 15%, and is currently shooting 12.5%. Should he get a little more puck luck, Connor could certainly finish with his second career 40-goal year. Pierre-Luc Dubois has been one of the most talked about Jets over the past few months. Rumors surrounding his contract status have swirled, but Dubois has shown 
the best production of his career off of the back of it. If Dubois continued at the pace he's currently scoring at for the remainder of the season, he would finish with his first career point-per-game season. Dubois's future will certainly be a question throughout the remainder of the season, but for now, his two-way game along with offensive production through the middle is crucial to the success of the Jets. Blake Wheeler rounds out the top five scorers on the Jets. Wheeler was one of few players in recent memory to have his captaincy stripped from him in the offseason. Wheeler's production has always been solid for the Jets, but he's slowed in all facets of his game as he's aged. Wheeler, now 36, is still putting up solid numbers. With 26 points in 29 games, he ranks 122nd in league scoring. Averaging a minute and a half less in ice time this season, Wheeler is playing in a slightly more sheltered role that can allow him to play to his strengths. One of the players that can take over the future of the Jets' offense is rookie Cole Perfetti. After 18 games in 21-22, Perfetti has had the chance to really make his mark in the NHL this year. Through 33 games, Perfetti has 20 points, which are very encouraging numbers for a rookie forward not getting top minutes. Perfetti likely won't be essential to the Jets this year, but absolutely will be going forward. It's worth noting that the Jets are having this improved year while being impacted by some significant injuries. Every team has to deal with injuries in some capacity, but few teams have missed a player as talented as Nikolai Ehlers for nearly the entire season. Since making his NHL debut in 2015, Ehlers has developed into a dynamic talent and analytical darling. This season, Ehlers has only played two games. He's expected back any game now, and his addition to this already solid team will surely push them even further up in the standings. The Winnipeg Jets have struggled over the past few seasons to find success, to find star talent, and to find an identity. Success is relative in the NHL, and may not be found this year, but it's clear that the Jets are building on their star talent and building a new identity for themselves under Rick Bonus. Josh Morrissey was signed to be a great defenseman, and he could end up being the elite 1D that every contending team needs. Hellebuck, Shifley, and Connor are great as always, while Dubois and Perfetti can be part of the identity of the team going forwards should they forge that path for themselves. The Jets may not put the league on notice this year with a crazy win streak, or even advance past the first or second round should they make the playoffs. But there is optimism and there's hope in an organization that is clearly trending forwards after years of questioning and confusion.